on over, we're gonna do a vlog-like decorate with me on some new finds today, right here on my dig on Home and Garden. Anybody remember the red plates that went here? They've been here for maybe 10 years. Does anybody remember the Robin's Nest store where we picked up exactly three plates with birds on them? This is what I do when I'm in the store and I'm shopping and thinking about what I can use at the house and if it'll fit or not. I don't have to be in the house. I don't even have to be in the country <laughs> to know if I want them or if they could work for our decor. This is what I do. Oh my goodness. Now these are the same size and everything and I just thought they'd be perfect and look awesome here. Tell me what you think. And frankly, they might go back to red for Christmas, but this is a nice spring and summery look. And they still go with our decor in the living room. Now you'll notice Easter is put away. But in one of the next videos, I'm going to be putting away spring. So you know what's coming soon. Here is an estate sale find that you haven't seen yet. It's a wonderful plinth. And if you're not used to that word or that language, a plinth is like a pedestal. This is a hollow fiberglass piece. The bottom is solid across. It was in that old fashioned green. And I thought, I'm gonna leave it alone for a while and see if I like it, just like that. I think it looks good and Angela thought it looked good too, without changing it. Now you know we have another one in the living room with the statue on it, and I had picked this up as a flea market, and I did have to paint it and antique it to look like that. There's our new plinth with the Neptune planter head. And here is something from the thrift store that you haven't seen. Maybe briefly, in the Easter home tour, I call it a castle floor candlestick. Just amazing. Now we've seen these before when we went shopping in the vintage and antique shops. They're a lot of money. This one I thrifted and it was cracked in the middle I had to super glue it and then I did my antiquing and gold technique on it and I did this for less than twenty dollars guys just loved it wanted to share and show you what you can do if you're out and about and off the couch <laughs> now I think we're gonna have to go upstairs Okay, so for the next bit of fun, we got to go into the family loft. And from the robin's nest, I found these fabulous Pootie Learning Art prints. Just loved them. <laughs> you know, they go with our style. There's the painters, okay, and here is the sculptors. Now at the estate sale I mentioned, we have two brass lamps that I've been dying for, 
and there's a couple of names for them. One of the names is, they're known as uh, railroad lamps. They're brass, they're heavy, they're adjustable. And the lamps that were here have now moved on to Angela's desk at her request. Really love these. I got them on low so that if you want to watch TV, you just turn my desk lamp off and you got a nice watch TV glow there along the desk. Without it, it would be like more like that. But it is daytime too. It's daylight out, so. You know how I talk crazy about a pair? These are fantastic. Okay guys, the next thing I picked up is from Blue Springs Marketplace. This little pedestal table. What a beauty. Look at the details here. Don't get mad now. Ten dollars. Now I put those little felt bumpers on it. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Then I had the nice tempered glass round from Pier 1 years ago. I like those because you can put them on anything and make a table out of it. A little lamp, a big barnacle, and a neat little elephant box. Okay guys, into the hallway. At the estate sale, this incredible Florentine mirror. I had very little to touch up on it. It's so good. I redid our picture wall, our photo, family photo wall. Show you that real quick with all the kids, and the moms, and the grandmas and grandpas mostly. And if you wondered where I put the nautical prints and the mirror that was there, you can see it here. Two cameras, two angles, and there's a straight on shot with that. Now we're going to go to the master bedroom. Still things going on. Then the crescendo from the Blue Springs Marketplace. is this incredible original oil painting. That they had marked $150. And after some negotiating, I was able to get this for $90. Absolutely superb. Loved it. Look what it does, look how it goes, guys. Just crazy about it. Oh, watching TV. It's from the estate sale, a wonderful little side table that I've been looking for for a while now with a little drawer. 
just perfect next to my seat. Pens, pencils, Toscano magazine, <laughs> writing tablet, all kinds of things. And anybody recognize this beauty? When I'm not playing, she can sit right here. This is from the Robin's Nest. And it was in a gloss finish and I took it down to a satin and did a little antique job on this. Been dying for a good horse's head like that, that fits in with my Greco-Roman pieces. The racing chariot and the fallen horses. Haven't been shown really, just quickly. The discus thrower or Discobolus by Myron originally. And another two horse chariot and heavy. But what's really new today, over here we got to get to Miss Angela's corner of the room. At the estate sale, I picked up this incredible podium. This is a heavy thing, solid, real nice, and it is made out of mahogany. All I did is move the trunk down a bit, again from the sail I knew I had the room, move the chair down, and this is that special chair if you forget. This is my great great grandmother's chair and I never got to meet her but this has been in the family for four generations and it is just superb for that reason still solid as a rock Okay, now why did I want this for Angela? I'm gonna see if I can set the gimbal down and keep it in the picture on the wiggly bed. This will be the crescendo of the video, probably, <laughs> and maybe a surprise. But when I saw this in the robin's nest, vintage and antique store I had to have it for Angela's collection she was really surprised and I gotta tell you I got the bus first then I went to the estate sale and found and I mean I barely got it the, the podium pedestal A lot of people would think, well, you got a lot of stuff in that corner, but I think it fit just perfect. You can see everything, right? And that's our maximalist look in the English manor house style. Folks, 
If you agree, you like our channel, you like what you see, and you have fun here, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a buddy over. A friend, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Tell them how much fun we have. And we'll certainly see you in the next unbelievable, over the top, decorator and collector video. Thanks guys, thanks for coming. Check us out. We got a lot coming up. Hmm. Couple of stores. More decors. <laughs> See you guys. See you soon.